morning welcome back to another a day in the life of a marketing manager i'm in the best mood today purely because the sun is out and it's such a rare occasion now in vancouver especially during sort of like this time of the year but we're here and it's sunny and i'm so excited to share another work day with you guys i have a couple of things going on today that i am excited to work on there's been some ongoing projects that i've been working on which honestly i don't mind at all like i enjoy working on longer projects so today in particular i'm going to be continuing on with a website project that i was talking about in my last day in the life video where we're actually building out a landing page to show our product roadmap not so much roadmap in the sense of features that we're building in or the updates that are going to be coming out but more so just like a customer journey roadmap showing users like what the intended purpose of each of our different tools are and like what stage of your small business that you're in would be best suited for which of our lineup of products. Anyway, so we're trying to solve for this issue in a multitude of different ways, one being this product roadmap. I got some comments back on the Figma page, so I'm just going to go through that this morning and just make any edits to the copy that I need to. And then I'm also just going to tweak the design a little bit as well so it doesn't look so full and honestly if you are a small business owner an entrepreneur a freelancer and you're looking for some like financial tools to help you with your business such as like tools for invoicing tools for keeping track of your expenses and sort of getting those um, expense and budget reports setting budgets or just looking for an accounting software to help you get ready for tax season and to file your taxes in a really stress-free and effortless way, I would highly recommend checking out trulysmall.com, which is my little brand that I'm working on. Another thing that I have to do today is add more language pieces to the site around data security. I think data security is something that more and more people are just becoming more aware of and like being a little bit more careful with these days. And obviously working at a financial tech company or sort of any finance company, data security is a very, very important aspect that you have to invest a lot of time and energy into making sure that, you know, your customers are protected. So anywho, we have done that. Um, but we don't talk about it a lot on the marketing site and we should. So I'm going to try to find some places in the marketing site where I can inject our like privacy policy as well as our data security um, like information. And then the last thing that's on my list is really just to get a little more educated today. Um, I just want to do some more research on social media strategy. I think it'll always be a passion of mine, but just unfortunately, these days i have less and less time to work on the social media strategy for a company very glad that we have somebody to manage that but i just want to get more educated and just learn for my own sake maybe some new techniques maybe more on the algorithm and just seeing what the trends are for 2023 all right team hands in let's get it on three one two three let's get it i am energized today if you can't tell okay i put on a hoodie because it was getting a little cold but i think i'm gonna start with researching social media strategies first i think I'm just gonna poke around online and see if I can find any resources on like 2023 social trends and 2023 algorithm changes. The social publishing tool that we use has a social listening feature to it so I'm gonna see if I can garner any insights from that as well. I know that TikTok also releases trend reports every single year, so I just want to essentially get familiar with everything that is trending right now. Another place that I always look to for information is HubSpot. HubSpot offers tons of free downloadable resources that are super helpful when you're trying to learn about specific digital marketing topics or look for content ideas. I actually recently found and downloaded their free Instagram for businesses kit, which includes tips on getting more followers, building an engaged audience, navigating algorithm updates, and how to actually measure your social media success. It even includes free Instagram post and story templates that you can use, as well as information on what, when, and how to post to grow the quickest on Instagram. I think it's super awesome that there are free guides like this out in the world, especially if you're just getting started for a business or even just for yourself. It's essentially a free roadmap that will help you start planning and executing on Instagram in a way that will actually 
really help you grow. I'm gonna start with this PDF and spend some time going through it and just seeing if I can implement some of these tips and tricks into our business. I highly recommend downloading this guide for yourself so that you can start planning your Instagram strategy as well. So I'm gonna put the link in the description box below. I love, love, love working with HubSpot because I just find there is so much alignment between what they offer and what I am trying to provide you guys on my YouTube channel as well. So make sure you go and check out this free resource as well as all the other free resources that they offer on their website. A really important thing that they talk about in this article is the SEO or like the searchability of your profile. I think a lot of us forget, even the marketers forget about that aspect. We work so hard on improving and building up the SEO on websites, on blogs, but we forget that that search bar in Instagram or on TikTok or wherever is also searching for those keywords in your profile. So it says, make sure that you describe what you do in your Instagram name and bio. This will make your account more likely to appear in searches for similar products or services as well as be being active and following and creating content around the hashtags that are relevant to your brand and that's the next best way for your followers to find you in search even stuff like what's in your bio your handle your post content is going to matter when you are thinking about the SEO of your brand or your page product roadmap page so I'm just trying out this like amusement park sort of layout but yeah if you want to give me a little bit more information about that you that'd be great too so I found a spot on our landing page where I wanted to put our data security um, information so I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how I slotted that in so here is the landing page for one of our products which is truly small accounting you can see that we're actually running a promo right now the promo only goes on until um, the end of April so if you're needing an accounting software feel free to check it out but currently the site or this landing page is laid out in this way where sort of the main information is up top and then we have the main features here uh, users can slide through but we have a few extra slides as well um, just of some more additional like benefits so i want to say the way that we've set this up is sort of mostly <laughs> like you have the features in this slider and then you have more benefits below so what i did was add the data security um, information as a panel underneath the slider. Our assumption is that data security is a sort of a deciding factor for users when they're looking for accounting software because obviously for any sort of financial tool that you use you want to make sure that the financial data that you're putting in is being kept safe and the security of it is being held at the highest regard. So I added this panel and I actually found this graphic from the illustrator that we use where the girl is holding a lock and I thought that was pretty appropriate. I added some copy that is the same font size and layout as all of the other panels and I sort of just put in bullet points the main aspects of our data security that I think the user would find important and then underneath the call to action for this slide is actually just to learn more about our data security and so where this is gonna lead is to a more in-depth article that we have on our blog about our data security which essentially talks about these points but in more detail as well as some other measures that we take so the next step for this would be testing so we're going to be tracking this page on Hotjar we're gonna see how are how are users doing now now that we've added this panel um, are they stopping here are they reading this panel are they clicking learn more how many people are clicking learn more compared to the overall visitors of this site so that we can see if it really has as much importance as we think it does to the user's decision process and then if we're noticing that you know they're clicking this receipt scanning slide more or if they're clicking this slide more then we can easily just like move this slide up or down so that the users are getting the critical information that they think is important like right at the top of the page when you have a longer page like this one is decently long users are hardly making it down to the bottom like they reach a page like think about the way that you visit a web page you land on the web page you're like da 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 scan is this what i need oh that kind of caught my eye you would read a little bit scan and the rest scroll back 
makeup. The way that we're familiar with receiving information these days definitely shows the short attention spans that people have developed. So I think it's really important that you are testing and tracking these things so that you can make sure that the content in the user experience is laid out in a way where the users are getting what they need ASAP. All right, I'm gonna send this off to our web developer to get it built out, and I'm gonna start working on the next task. I made myself a little lunch and I totally forgot to film it, but I just had leftover pasta, so it wasn't that exciting anyways. But I picked up these little bugs from Amazon. I actually saw that Janice had similar jugs and that she keeps her juice in it. And I always kind of have this idea of like using my juicer more and making juice, but then I don't have anything to contain it in, like not even like a, a water jug. Not that a water jug would fit in my fridge anyways. So I think this is the perfect solution. Although my fridge is pretty full right now, so I'll have to move them some things around, but I do want to just have like juice available. So I'm not always reaching for San Pellegrino or other pops that I buy. So we're taking a quick intermission to make some juice. So there's two jugs that it comes with. One to catch the ground up fruit, like all the stuff that you don't want in your juice. And then the other jug to actually catch the juice. So you just want to place it like that. I actually don't have too many ingredients to use, but I have a cucumber or like half a cucumber. Mostly, I just want to use up my celery. I bought a bag of carrots and I didn't realize, like I ordered off Instacart and I didn't realize it'd give me the largest bag of carrots ever existing. So we're gonna put some carrots in there. I have four oranges, which I know for a fact does not produce that much juice. And then I want to do maybe a little bit of ginger as well. So that's what's gonna be in my juice. I think also juicing is a great way to get rid of any leftover vegetables and fruits that you know you haven't had the chance to eat but they might not be good for much longer just juice it so you can consume it more easily and quickly you know that ended up making three bottles of juice not the prettiest color but Honestly, really tasty. I think putting oranges in anything will make it tasty though, honestly. All right, the next thing that is on my list is to rework that product roadmap page a little bit. I had a chat with my CEO during our meeting earlier, just going over how we can sort of make this page a little bit more concise. What I've done so far is I've laid out all the information that actually needs to be on this page, but it does sort of end up being quite a long web page and especially as a user from a user experience sort of perspective you don't want to be scrolling on and on and on and on to learn about the company or its products so i need to figure out a way to do this a little bit more concisely and more creatively so we're just going to create a new frame in figma next to our previous design so that we can sort of reference back to you know the copy that was approved the content that was approved but sort of just rework it and shift things around so that it's a little bit more like you're just getting more information above the fold this is a challenge but honestly i love working on web design projects and i love when i have a fun like ux challenge like this i think it really gets my brain thinking in a more creative way which is always nice
The rearranging of this product roadmap page took me longer than I expected. Although I did know that it was going to be sort of this like multi-week project, including development. I think there's just a lot of ideas being thrown around about how this page should be laid out. Plus I have to consider the user experience and sort of the responsiveness of the site. So there is definitely still more work to be done. I'm gonna end my little work sesh off with some Notion organization. I've typed in everything that I need to do. I'm just gonna take some notes on what I worked on today, as well as um, add in the notes from my meeting with our CEO. All right, I think that is my work day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you did. And of course, make sure you check out HubSpot's free resource for Instagram for Businesses, which is linked in the description box below. It'll help you take your social media game to the next level. It is completely free and covers everything from identifying the goal of your profile all the way to info on how to keep up with the algorithm. The link is in my description, and if you do end up using it, make sure to leave in the comments and tell us what your favorite tip from the resource is but other than that i hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world and i will see you in my next video bye